to For Fun Film! I am Ronnie Williams, and with me is... I am the Pope in question. My, my name is Reverend May Lin. I am the founder of the Church of Ed Wood, which is an actual thing worth a Google. It is episode 463 of this podcast, which means, via math, that there have been 462 episodes before this one. Why would we make that up or fudge the numbers? And it's not like you're going to check anyway. So this is our 463rd episode. Uh, we're finishing our Summer of Yo today with a look at Creed. I, 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 the Creed. I, I, I. The most Hispanic of the Creed series so far. Yes. Creed. So, um, it's going to be a, a very good show. We're going to be talking about um, a band that I hate. Uh, Dog Ideas. <laughs> it's a, a really great app. I am on edibles. I look great. Kill and then Kill Monger versus Kang. You put it right there in the title. Yes. I see. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. It, it, the thing is, when you're watching a movie after the fact online, I hope to God there were no subtitles for all the sign language in this film. It's always difficult to know. Because, you know, I didn't see this movie in theaters. I'm seeing it on, like, a DVD later. You know, like, like I'm watching it later on online. I, it, I'm interested to see if if uh, uh, Queer Kitty says, Bunny looks naked without his hat. Bunny, you're indecent. I know. You are indecent. And also I'm having edited... I'm an outlaw. Nice. Also, having uh, edited that little bit about racist songs on my YouTube channel. Um, I don't know how I didn't notice before now just how much your microphone looks like a big black cock. So, that's exciting. Yes. Hooray for you and your microphone. Feel free to just caress the microphone if you want to, you know. It's nothing... It, okay, they... All right, we're going to get some more watchers now. Okay, so this is Jeff, the name that we gave to our reoccurring podcast monologue. That's like a box of chocolates because you never know what you're going to get. And also, Bunny and I are so sweet that we might give you diabetes. Bunny, are we good? Uh, I, I, need, I need a point of perspective here to be able to answer that question. In, in what regard? Okay. Just, just you and me. We're cool? Yeah. Okay, good. Well, with that out of the way, let's get to something uh, less passionate and more lighthearted and fun. Okay, so a few weeks ago, I was listening to the radio because I am old, and this is what old people do. Young people aren't listening to the radio anymore. It's... it's it's phenomenal. It, radio is dying. I remember growing up wanting to be like a radio DJ, but now it's like being a radio DJ is just being a professional ad reader. What's the point of that? Yeah. You know, it's kind of sad. So um, what I do is I, I'm listening to the radio. I'm driving around. I'll hear some song on the radio, either a new song that I like, and I do like some new music that's coming out, although a lot less because I'm in my 40s. Or some song I haven't heard in a while, in forever, and I'll write it down, the song title or a memorable line, so that later when I'm at home and I have the computer and Spotify in front of me, I can uh, look up the song and listen to it and maybe add it to one of my uh, Spotify playlists, which I work very hard on. I work very hard on my Spotify Playlists. I've got one for uh, May Lin is going to the movies, and I've got one uh, of chill music. I've got one for being high, which is wonderful. A wonderful playlist that I love so much. Okay. And, and well, so I'm what driving, are some and I'm examples on that playlist. What was that? What are some examples from that playlist? Uh. 
I'm gonna pop it up right now. Maylin's Chill Vibes, Maylin's Halloween Party, Maylin's Marathon Music. Uh, Maylin's really high shift for those nights when you may have had too many edibles. Um, some classic music, Velvet Underground, uh, Sophia Massad's and the Artist. Uh, there's a whole a bad recording home demo of Kurt Cobain singing The Beatles and I Love Her. Really? Which, which is beautiful. Django Reinhardt, MF Doom, Danny from Game Grumps, Willie Nelson's country album. I've got some good stuff on there. The Blue Jean Committee's Catalina Breeze. Okay. I love the Blue Jean Committee. So <coughs> I'm driving. I'm driving and I'm listening to music and I hear a song and it's a nice chill, mellow 70s rock ballad and it's nice and chill it's almost adult contemporary but not quite which is 100% my jam now now that I'm in my 40s I'm over the hill and the older I get the more my musical taste just sort of mellow out I'm sorry Ramones but maybe if you actually learn to play your instruments your music would be better Oh, don't fuck with the Ramones. The Ramones are great. Like, I had a Sex Pistols phase, but... In the 1980s, Phil Collins had a new hit song every 20 seconds. Throughout this the entirety of the 80s. True. This freaking ug fugly-looking British dude had a hit had five number one songs every half hour. And one of them was good. It wasn't, but you know the lyrics to all of them. Even the ones you hate. I, I, Take I wouldn't me want home. to make bets on that. Take me home. It, let's go through the lyrics of that song. Because I don't remember. Take, take me home. Because I don't remember. Take, take me home. And then just keep repeating that for like 25 minutes. And that's a number one hit song for yeah. Phil Collins. Uh, so back to, I hear this like chill 1970s rock ballad on the radio. I haven't heard it in a long time. Ooh, what's this song? I'm going to write some of the lyrics down and look it up later. I do. And I guess it's been a really long time since I've heard that song. It was fucking bad. From really? It was fucking bad. They, they're one good song. They're one good song. Uh, fuck Kiss. Fuck all the members of Kiss. Fuck Gene Simmons. Fuck, just fuck Kiss. Just gonna come out and say it. Fuck the band Kiss. Number one, I'm not white enough to enjoy the music of the band Kiss. Number two, here's a uh, and, and, and what you're way too old because because it seemed like it seemed like you would go straight from Sean Cassidy to Kiss. They were the next rung in the in the bubblegum ladder. Yeah. To be clear, I'm a, a professional podcaster, so I'm eating Lay's Wavy Ranch flavored chips. Like all good professionals, I have picked the loudest food to be eating during the recording of this podcast. For anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, you, fuck kids. You have to get closer to the mic. Okay. While you chew. Fuck kids. Okay. Fuck kids. I hate kids. Basically. They're a professional traveling date rape band. And yeah. I don't care for them. I have yeah. never cared for them. I remember when MTV made such a big deal about we're going to show Kiss without makeup. And like, oh, wow, spoiler alert, they're fugly. I don't care. Yeah. I do not care. And that really pissed me off because fuck Kiss. I hate Kiss. Kiss can kiss my brown ass. 
and, and, and uh, again, and I've mentioned this before on the show, like, uh, I, I am just not a very musical person. Music yeah. isn't a, a big thing, okay? But for some weird-ass reason, I love music documentaries. Okay, okay. I fucking love music documentaries. Hmm. Never do I hear Kiss be brought up for an influence for fucking anybody. Yeah. You know? Understandable. Like, like rarely do I... Even, even, like, heavy metal documentaries or anything like that, nobody's mentioning Kiss. Nobody. Nobody is so mentioning like, Kiss. I, it seems like they are famous only in their own heads, somehow. Yeah. Yeah. They're famous because they tell us they're famous or something. Because, like, musicians don't seem to care. Yeah. No. They... They... Kiss is... If any band looks up to Kiss, it's because... I feel like they're marketing first and music second. Yeah. You know? And I think nowadays a lot of bands sort of dream of that. You know? Yeah. Bunny, you have recently purchased a scruffy mop of a dog. Have you settled on a name yet? Uh, I think we're settled on Wiffle. Wiffle. Okay. Because I have some more ideas. Okay. For names for your dog. So basically, if you haven't settled on a name, I've got some ideas. If you have settled on a name, oh, get ready for your mind to be changed. Because I have some great names. Yeah. Okay, anytime I've been on social media and I've seen uh, you or Jeannie post something, I've given you some I've already come up with a number of names, and all of them are gold, pony boy. Gold. But I've got some more here, okay? Yes, re remind Some of these are great. Okay, so just just hear me out. You know, it, I've got some ideas. Number one, The Vampire's Tomb. <laughs> the ghoul Here's goes another, west. Okay. Yeah, 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 excuse me. Excuse me. You don't know what I'm going to say next. <laughs> the second possible name, the ghoul goes west. <laughs> and a legitimate good name for a dog, Dr. Acula. Like, that's a, that's a good it. name for a dog. I don't get uh, it. No, he just has a, a cup in one hand and a big black cock in the other. So earlier he I made him progress it. He, I know, I mean, right? He's already looking naked, so Yeah. Um oh, hey yeah, I'm in the camera. No, you're not because see it it Ooh, Yeah. Um so what's the <laughs> Snowball? Snowball. Uh, I don't know. I don't know about that one. Okay. French Stewart. I feel that the dog kind of looked like a French steward. Y you know, from Third Rock from the Sun. Okay, French well steward. Okay. Okay. Torgo. That's a great name for a dog. Torgo. Uh, white Obama. Okay. Because it's a white dog. So, White Obama. Doorstop. Doorstop. Shit piece. No. Doorstop. Scatman Crothers. Scatman Crothers. Yes. Uh, here's here's the full name. The only, here's the, only the problem with this that next... is like that's a little too long to get on the tag. Okay. Well, then you might not like this next one. No. Machete rated R in theaters Friday. Yeah. Well, you could call him Machete for sure. Uh, Sid the Sloth, the dog. Or how about this? The Betty White Memorial Dog, brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends. Download today. Betty White was a huge advocate for animals. A huge dog lover, and, honey. 
no. Yes. Five, five, a yeah. huge animal lover, yes. She married, like, five animals. No. no That's no, how much. Do not, do not smirch. A good name. Oh, I'd be smirched it. Of my dear baby. It do not got be smirched. Uh, here are some other dog names. Stump Grinder. Rex Dart. Eskimo Spy. Michael Afton. At the point that I was making this list, Maxwell was uh, explaining Five Nights at Freddy's lore for about two hours straight. Uh -huh. So, Michael Afton. Michael Landon. Lopez! Jay Leno's Chin. Thirteen. Just the number. The number is the name of the dog. So, thirteen. Chartreuse. I was starting to get experimental with dog names at this yeah. point. Norville? Because the only Norville I know is Shaggy. Who names their kid Norville? It's weird. Supercar! We, we were kind of playing a, a little with, with just naming them all cops or bastards. Ooh, nice. Uh, so then I started thinking, okay, what if Bunny loses the dog? And he has to start calling for the dog. So that was on my mind for the last couple of ones. I'm naked? Who Come wants on, donuts? Naked. I, I really liked Who Wants Donuts. Yeah. Who wants donuts? Come here. Who wants donuts? And then all these people come to you. It's like, no, sorry. That's the name of my dog. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's the name of my dog. Okay. I knew I had that for a reason. Okay. Uh, kindling. Donuts. El Mariachi and Nettie. Yeah. These this is this is this has been my list. And I think it's a pretty decent list. Funny, one last thing. Um what's your star sign? What's my star sign? Yeah, what's your astrological I, sign? I am a Libra. Nope, you're a cancer now. Okay. <laughs> Did you like that? I wrote that for you. I thought you'd like it. Is it too soon? He's he's having a coughing fit now. I, I threw him into... Oh, uh, there you go. Boom. I thought that was pretty good. Not bad. Did you like it? Don't, okay. Don't drink my water, cat. Okay, so that's it for uh, Jeff this week. Uh... uh I think it's time now for us to move into our educational segment. Um, I've got some pictures. I'm very excited for this one. We don't have the most time, but I think I can do that. Okay, so that is the end of Jeff this week. Be sure and join us for more Jeff-tastic Jeff entertainment. Yeah, I just came up with that. With Jeff! Yeah. And cut...